Shy Town's finest. Okay, what we have here is a E70 E E3, so a Vizio 70 inch. Um, the problem with this set is a uh, dark picture. Um, Vizio makes various 70 inches and 65 inches will have that same problem. And basically, how this TV is set up, there are actually six rows of strips, 18, on, 18 LEDs on each strip. Uh, the strips do come apart, so there's actually 12 strips, okay, they come in half, and what happens is if uh, one of the LEDs open up, opens up, the other strips will light up, except for that one strip, uh, so people wait until uh, half the picture is um, dark before they call, and because this set, uh, as you can see, it's a little different here, the LED circuit is, is actually on the main board, instead of the power supply board, and because uh, the actual wires are not labeled, plus minus um, we'll just go ahead and check the voltage on the plus or the red wires the red wires are all the plus voltages so probably about six of them and we should be getting about uh, 55 or 60 volts on each one okay just to make sure that um, everything is okay there and as we can see we got 60 volts there and I'm just gonna check the check out various ones um, uh, the next one is 60 volts, 60 volts, and so on. And if I go to the minus, the black wires, uh, as you can see, the ones that are open will read zero volts or millivolts. Okay, so everything is, uh, all the red wires are like 60 volts. So I'm going to proceed to take this apart, and this is pretty simple. I just take the um, bezel off, all the screws around the bezel, and the front black bezel will slide off. And please do not forget to disconnect your driver boards from the T-Con board, or just disconnect mine that way, or either just disconnect the LDVS cable from the main board, but uh, that should be fine. Okay, don't forget to remove the metal plate on the bottom covering the driver boards. Uh, that's to protect and support the driver boards. Um, they're just three like long silver screws and it comes right off. And then um, after that, just uh, unfold the driver boards and just tape it, fold them over and tape it to the screen as usual. Okay, now uh, we're actually going to have to pull up our little plastic uh, support studs and you're going to have to go to the uh, other side, just push them through the holes and that way we can remove the uh, white paper off of the, um, from the inside so we can check the LEDs. Okay, so right at this present time, I have all my screens removed, the um, LCD, LED screen, and the other uh, diffuser screens, and um, there's some more studs there. <laughs> I don't know why they put that many in here, but just take your little prior tool, uh, maybe like a thin screwdriver, but uh, this works best for me, my little prior tool here, I'll just kind of pry them up and they'll come up. Uh, that's in order for us to remove the paper so we can get access to the LEDs and, and check them out. I should actually lift this up, but uh, there's only like two half of strips lighting up. That's why the TV is so dark. Now, at this point, I actually did find bad, bad LEDs on the first three strips. Uh, I think it was like about maybe like five or six of them. I do have a mark, and I just replaced them individually. And as you can see, uh, all three strips are lit up. And I do I did mark them, so I probably I don't know it's probably about six or seven uh, bad LEDs out of these three strips. Like I said, there is 108 LEDs total in this TV, uh, 18 on each strip. Now, what I like about these strips is you can actually check, um, check them both sides of the strip. 
as you can see there's a, a positive one positive and two negatives the first negative is the first part of the strip okay I'm actually on a good strip so that's why you that way you can see everything's lighting up and if I go down to the other negative uh, it's gonna light the second half of, of the strip And another thing about this, these strips is they do have actual individual test points for each individual LED. There's a plus and a test point on one side of the LED and the negative test point on the other side. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys uh, how I just um, re replace them individually. Now it will be better. It will be better to buy the whole strips. I know I'm, I'm going to see some comments below to get the whole strips, but uh, I just do this because a lot of times people are rushing for the TV, and um, this is more time consuming. But uh, I can just go ahead and get this done in one day and just get it back to them, like you know, let it play for a day, and the next day. Now, as you can see, I do have one uh, LED ready to take off, and to take off that little diffuser lens, just put your prior in there and just pry it up pry it off and then we're going to glue it back on later so I'm going to get my heat gun uh, it's up pretty high because these LEDs are kind of <laughs> kind of hard to get off so because the back of the LED strips are metal I'm going to light I'm going to um, heat the back of it up first right behind the LED or, or right on the bottom of the LED uh, for about 20 good seconds I'm gonna flip it around and um, put some heat on the top of it and it should slide right off. I apologize for the lighting. You see that slid right off. No damage to the traces or anything. And as you can see, there's two sides, positive and negative. Now, the LEDs that I have are actually opposite. Uh, the actual positive side is the big side, the, the big trace, and the, the negative is a small trace. And uh, as you can see, it's opposite of that. So uh, I do have a video showing you how to uh, put on LEDs with opposite polarity. So basically, all I'm going to do is just scrape the positive side and make it a little bit longer. And then try to place the LED on so, you know, it won't. Uh, there's no, sh it's not overlapping or shortened. So I'm just going to scrape it, scrape the trace off on the positive side because, like I said, my LED's positive side is uh, the bigger trace, the bigger side. And I kind of done this so many times, I kind of know how to place it on there. <laughs> uh, but um, it may take you a few tries because a lot of cases, a lot of times you're like, um, you know, overlap the trace and you know you'll get a short there. But uh, just take it back off and just kind of like get it perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna stick my positive end of the LED that way. Okay, and. Um, I'm actually going to add some flux on both sides of the uh, LED. It got kind of sloppy there, so uh, <laughs> like I said, I apologize again, again once that uh, you can't see. So 
I want to do is put, put a little solder on my iron, hold the LED in place, and just uh, because I got that flux on there, I'm just gonna let me zoom in a little bit so you can see here a little better. Come on, baby. There actually is some flux on that side. Just kind of moved over once I was trying to move it around. And that way I can just dab it on there. And that's it. And uh, that's pretty much about it. As soon as you do that, make sure that you test it. Make sure there's no short. Make sure it lights up. I'm going to clean it with some alcohol. Um, that's just because I want a clean surface because I'm actually, I'm actually going to glue, glue back my diffuser lens back on there. Okay, so I um, just want a nice clean surface. And if, if, if you look on the right side of the LED, there's a bit, the, the solder is kind of blobbed up. Uh, you probably want to try to thin that back out or just take some solder wick and just take most of that off because what's going to happen is when you put the diffuser lens back on there it's going to be tilted uh, the diffuser lens has to be on there kind of perfectly um, so there's this there otherwise when you put this TV back together you're going to see like these white circles in the screen so I'm going to try to take my iron and kind of smooth it out but uh, you, you pretty much get the picture what, what, what I'm saying right Just try to use as little solder as possible to hold it in there. So I'm gonna double check it. I can't, like I said, I can't go to the test points and check it, but I just checked it right there. And as far as my diffuser lens, I'm actually gonna put a small drop of super glue on each of the little studs that are sticking up. Those are the previous studs that were glued down before. And that's all I need. There's actually four studs on this LED. And I'm going to try to place it directly center. So the exact center of the LED is directly over the LED light. Okay, the yellow lens part. And uh, you don't have to mash it down. If you got some pretty good glue, just kind of like place it on there and just don't touch it. And wait a couple minutes and it should dry. And uh, as you can see, they are all lit. There were actually, out of all of these 108 LEDs, there were actually only 12 bad ones. Okay, and so I replaced those, and uh, voila, there you have it. And I'm going to put everything back together, just like you took it off. Make sure all the four screens are together. Make sure that you put your little plastic, those little plastic studs to support the screen. Um, put those in there and there's actually like four screens. There's a thick diffuser screen. There's like three other screens uh, Make sure they're in order as you can see I've been I've marked it with a dot So I know which corner goes which where goes where and put the little plastic brackets on Around the TV frame to hold the screens on and then actually put your screen back on and you know uh, there are plenty of videos on how to uh, take this off. I'm not going to go through all that. But uh, we'll go ahead. We got it back together now. Let's go ahead and fire it up and we'll see what happens. Okay, that's pretty bright. So far. Wait for it. Voila. There you go. We are back in action. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and like the video. Please leave any comments. And uh, that's all for now. Uh, Big Dog out.